Welcome to uh, Philadelphia Town Hall. I'm your host, Ali White, aka Prime Mini Beats. We're here talking about all types of issues today, where you get your real Philly news, real point of views, the first hip hop, indie, news, Philadelphia live TV show. Let's get into it. Dana Lucchini. So Dana, how do you feel about the St. Bardino Massacre? Devastating, sad, and completely normal. Right. Do you feel like that was a terrorist attack? Yes. Right now, do you, is, do you think there's a need for gun control? Uh, I do, yes. Do you think that would help in those situations? For, yes, I do think that would help for sure. Mm -hmm. Do you think this helped Trump in the polls, this recent terror attack? Probably. And, and why is that? Uh, because people are interested in him because they have a lot of fear, and that just creates more fear. Every shooting, more fear. Right. Do, you, do you think Muslims believe in suicide bombings, the true ones? No. All right. Do you think Muslims believe in Jesus? In Jesus? Yeah. Uh, as a historical figure, probably. Joshua. Okay. How do you feel about the St. Bernardino massacres? Uh, I'm actually from Southern California. I'm from Rancho Cucamonga, so I'm from the Inland Empire. And I was very disturbed. Um, actually, my family and I were trying to get in contact with my aunt, who works in that area, within that vicinity in one of those buildings. So we were really, her building was on lockdown. A lot of us were very scared. We hadn't heard immediately from her. So, you know, being all the way over here in Philadelphia, it was like nerve wracking for me because I was really uncertain of what was going on back home. Um, I'm just, just, just really perturbed with the heightened sense of anxiety I think that's happening in our nation as a whole um, and worldwide. It just seems like people are, everyone seems to be on edge and very uncomfortable with relating to each other in a more humane way. Um, and so for it to happen so close to home in such a place that's so familiar that's typically not as on edge like that, it's just really disheartening and um, sometimes frightening as well. Okay, do you think that gun control uh, would have any effect on it at all? You know, it just depends on what that really refers to. I think that there are people who seem to still get their hands on um, all sorts of weapons, illegally, guns, uh, creating bombs, but I would hope that it would stymie those types of attacks in a bigger way. Um, do you know what ISIS stands for? Uh, the Islamic State, correct? Are you asking what the, it stands for? Are you asking yeah. for what their, what their mission no, is? No, what it stands Islamic for. Islamic State. Right, Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, mm -hmm. right, correct. Uh, what's their mission? Uh, from my understanding, it's their mission is to eradicate any other cultural group that is dissonant to what they stand for, which is, I really don't believe what they really stand for is Islam. I really believe what they stand for is a sensationalized um, and terrorism-based uh, militant group really, that, that assumes the idea of a religion, but really what they are is more of like a cult. You can say your name? All right, I'm uh, Will. Okay, Will. Um, so how do you feel about the San Bernardino massacres? I think it's unfortunate. Uh, I think it's a very complex issue because people, you know, they want to protect their uh, First Amendment rights for us bearing weapons. But at the same time, you know, should everybody have weapons? You know, should it be better screening. So I think it's just a really. Uh, so do you think it's a gun control issue or? Well, I mean, gun control, but you got people that are mad. I mean, because to do something like that, it's got to be a lot of anger in your heart. And then we, it might be a religious piece to it. Right. It might be an extremist piece to it. So I think it's very complicated. Okay. Do you know what ISIS stands for? Uh, I don't know what it stands it's for. Islamic now. State of Iraq and Syria. Uh, Trump just put Trump up in the polls by 36 percent, and he's now 20 points up. Mm. So that means, do you think that uh, this the sphere uh, of uh, terrorism is helping his campaign? I mean, it could, but but I think if you look at the way the browning of, of our country and the more urban our countries are coming, that he might win in some of the like historically red states, but. Basically, if you don't win the, the coast, the big urban cities, you know, be the president. So I don't think I don't think it's gonna help him win over like everybody. Um, okay, what's your name? My name is Sayyid Al Ahmed. Okay. So, uh, do you, it, how do you feel about the San Bernardino massacre? I don't think it's the right thing. Absolutely not. It's very sad. Do you think that gun control will have any effect on? Uh, I think yes. Definitely. There's a need for gun control. I don't believe that 
people having access to powerful weapons is a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, do you believe that um, that people like this put other people of Arab descent in a bad position? No problem. Yes. Um, what does ISIS stand for? <laughs> Islamic I've, State of Iraq and Syria. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, been changing. Right. And, 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 and uh, the other one was the Levant, which is Cyprus, Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, and Turkey. Uh, do you think this is going to help Donald Trump in the polls? Wow. I don't think. What the, I, don't, I don't believe it. It is some. It has nothing to do with Donald Trump. But he's like, he's using it to, you know. I don't think it's a good strategy. Say, saying that uh, he's going to register Muslims as part of his campaign and stuff like that, and it's brought him up in the polls to 20 points up. But it's, uh, maybe it's got him to a higher point, though. But. Right. If you believe in America to be a country for everybody, it's a free country. So, yes, sir. Uh, it, is Islam the enemy? No, Islam has never been the enemy. If you look into history, it has never been an enemy of any other religion. Are the drones a form of terrorism? Are the drones? Yes, over the bomb the Middle East. Uh, I think those are just tools that people have been using. Okay. Um, why are we in the Middle East? Why is the U.S. in the Middle East at all? Why did U.S. get into the Middle East? Yes. Firstly, it was for the oil, I guess. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, Saudi Arabia wasn't a very rich country till the oil came into existence and America was the one to help Saudi Arabia extract the oil. Right. Why have why does it seem that the Western world has been at war with Islam since since the beginning of time, since before there were guns? Uh, Islam means what? Could you repeat the question again? I would say why does it seem that the Western world has been at war with Islam since the beginning of time, since before there were actual guns, since there were swords? I I don't think it's been against. I think that's uh, if people read history and read, uh, you know, talk to scholars about the religions. It's, there's always been crusades, and there's always been Islamic wars. So that was a very different world back then. But now it's a very before. Then it was more of an imperialistic, okay. probably, and now it's a democratic. I think it's there's a very there's been a drastic change in the way of thinking sure. of people. So, I don't think you can imply what used to be implied then to the current times now. If you, if you were in the Middle East and you were a Muslim family and your living room was bound with your, three, your children in it and the cho your children died, how would you go about fighting back? Definitely, you, you would definitely have regrets to what the society has become. And it's a tough choice for everybody or anybody to, you know, how would the person react. And at times people who are capable of reacting in a violent way would react in a violent way and those who aren't, won't. So for example, if a woman, she cannot react or, you know, take up arms, so she won't. And it's not a part of the culture there. So maybe men, because as instinct of men is to hunt from and to survive, it's, it's a survival instinct and that kind of, you know, it, you aggravate that survival instinct and inhibits the person's ability to think and be rational. How do you feel about Donald Trump and the presidency? Angry. Okay, you want. Alright, so, what do you guys feel about the San Bernardino massacre in California? Tragic. People need to stop killing people. It's annoying and it's really shitty. Right. Do you think that gun control could have anything, any, was, uh, will stop it at all or I mean, put I any restrictions on things? I think we need stricter gun control laws, but I don't think it will have anything changed. Right. Um, do you guys know what ISIS stands for? We actually don't know what it stands for, but we know it's a terrorist group. Right. It's uh, Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. or. ISIL, which is the Levant, which is Cyprus, Israel, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, and Turkey. Um, this, the massacre tends, seems like it put Trump up in the polls. Uh, he's up 
He's 20%, 20 points above any Republican. So he's basically definitely won the Republican Party. Oh God. Um, That's because he wants to put a fucking wall up around the country. And have like, Mexico pay for it. Like, yeah. Now. Like, and culture okay. is pasty, nasty, Our white country ass was founded on you. immigrants coming to this country. Yes, Welcome there's a bit of a problem with Welcome to the Philadelphia Townhouse Show. I'm your host, okay. Mom Minnie Beats, a.k.a. Like, I'll I mean, be white. Yes, we have Today's show is sponsored by Spanish, Neff Sunglasses. Mexican. Spanish, and whatever, Frankie's But putting a wall around the entire country there is are not going to solve the game. Right, So maybe that's why he's so high up in the polls because a lot of people I guarantee his like his probably illegal. insane points of view. Fuck Donald Trump. Exactly. I'm just going He can that. suck my ass. Literally, Donald Trump can suck my ass. What if he really wanted to? Would you let him? He'd have to pay me a lot of money. All right. Do you it's think that fair. drones are a form of terrorism? What? Drones. Drones. Drones that drop bombs in the Middle East. They should stop doing that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, to be from terrorism. That's okay. thing here. <laughs> Do you guys think too. that Muslims believe in suicide bombing? Fuck no. Right. Um, well, not all Muslims. No, I mean, not all Muslims. I don't yeah. think. I think some people do, some but people just there are about 1.6 billion about Muslims, Muslims in the world. There's a fraction of a fraction who do suicide bombing. Yeah. You said it yourself, a fraction right. of a fraction. Right. Now, do Muslims believe in Jesus? They have their they own Jesus, Allah. right? They, they believe Allah in Jesus. Their Jesus did, but they don't believe in Jesus. They believe in the Prophet Muhammad and Allah. Okay. I paid attention one time in class. What do you think about Trump when he says that he wants to register all Muslims in the United States? He wants to what? Register, register. all Muslims. Basically put gold, gold stars on us like they did the Jews and Obviously to identify it didn't us. work for Hitler it ain't gonna work for Donald Trump right we need to register where he got that goddamn hairpiece <laughs> tell him to send it back okay send it back get a new one you know what Amazon I'll let him use my Amazon Prime account to get a new one two days tops like seriously I don't <laughs>